So I met with Kirk, and Kirk is a piano technician here in Logan. Um, also, he's a the USU piano tech at the Performance Hall. And his story is really interesting. He um, started doing digital marketing uh, at, at a corporate company, and he just said that he just didn't like it and that he just didn't find any passion. So he was trying to find side jobs that could help him feel that passion. So he started a commercial photography business, a t-shirt uh, printing business, and a freelance graphic design business. But he didn't have any passion in them, so they kind of like fell away after a while because he kind of just lost interest. Um, and then one of his friends, um, who worked as a piano technician for a piano shop, uh, was quitting his job, and t Kirk asked if he could have his tools. And he was like, sure, you know, like, take him, whatever. Which are really, really expensive, so it was a total benefit for him. And he started practicing, like, tuning and um, just working with his piano at home, because his wife's a piano teacher. Um, and as he started to get better, he started, like, you know, doing it for friends and family, and they were referring him to other people. Um, it started to just become like a side job. He made a website. He put an ad in the phone book. Um, even when he had little experience, he was still putting himself out there. Um, eventually, he joined the PTG, which is the Piano Technicians Guild. So it's just kind of where all the piano technicians go. He found a lot of mentors there, and he like went there for questions. He found a lot of friends who he could call on, um, and then. He got so busy that he said he was working like two full-time jobs. And so after COVID, he kind of like really lost interest in his business because, or not his business, but his job because um, one of the things that was um, like, he just liked having relationships with his coworkers and things. But since COVID, it had changed and everyone was kind of working remote. So he quit his job. He said it was kind of his midlife crisis. <laughs> and then... Um, he started his own piano tech business and he um, went all the way to becoming a piano technician. Um, he's, he gave me quite a bit of advice and I learned like a lot from him. Is, and one was just like he advised me not working for corporate business. He said like it, um, he claimed it was golden handcuffs is what a corporate business does to you. And it was like a lot of people had these big business ideas that could totally work like opportunities and things. But everyone was uh, discouraged to do entrepreneurship because the corporate side says like, oh, you don't want to do that because you're not going to have health insurance or um, these benefits that come from working for us and everything. So um, he said it was a really brave step, and but it was the best decision he ever made. Um, and then he also, it was really interesting to talk to him because um, he knows a lot about marketing. So I learned a lot from him about like how to market my own business. Um, and he said it. Um, he did a lot of different things, like he made his website, he put an ad in the phone book, he um, made really good friends with his clients, he um, had business cards, he asked people to leave reviews for him, um, but he said the biggest thing for him and how he gets business is word of mouth, which is huge for uh, piano technology, um, because people will just like refer you to others and that's just like the biggest like thing. Um, and another thing he told me was to never, like, discredit yourself in front of a customer, which I tend to do sometimes because, like, I don't, I'm still trying to gain confidence in what I'm doing. But he said even the first customer he ever had when he walked into their house and sat down, he acted like the only reason why they would ever think he's a beginner is because it took him three hours to tune the piano. And, uh, but he never discredited himself, like, he didn't say anything, and so I thought that was really interesting because I never thought about it that way. I've always just been like, oh, like, I'll do my best, like, <laughs> or like, I did discredit myself, and so he, like, really advised against that. Um, and then another thing is he said not to worry about, like, a lot of, like, logistics and stuff because those things will figure themselves out and he said just focus on the skill and getting your service out there and just being doing the best that you can uh, I really learned a lot from him and he t told me I could um be his all right he could be a mentor to me as much as he could and I I could like call him if I ever needed anything so I really benefited from talking to him and he's like a super cool guy so I really enjoyed it